Hello students, today we'll be learning the third chapter that is Maggie Kutzer here. So before starting up the lesson, I would like to get introduced with your author, namely George Eliot. So her pen name is Mary Ann. Pen name, it's nothing but uh, the other name which are used in the novels. She is a very good novelist and she, is ve she was very popular in 19th, cent 19th century. So she has written up the novels called The Mill on the Floss, Middle Marsh, and The Silas Marner are a very few of her famous novels. Her stories have realistic themes and strong characters. So she'll be writing up the novels, mainly which is basically uh, based on the realistic themes and the strong characters. So this particular lesson has been taken out from a a novel called as The Mill on the Floss. So this is one uh, a small extraction from the novel that is The Mill on the Floss, which has been written by George Eliot. Then the story is from a novel, The Mill on the Floss. Mr. Tulliver is a miller. Mr. Tulliver is a miller. And the family lives at the mill side beside the river Floss. He has two children, Tom and Maggie. Maggie is often scolded because her hair is untidy. When the story which is told her begins, here begins, some of the children's uncle and aunts have just arrived to have dinner at the mill. Uh, mill, it is nothing but the place where you get the floor after uh, the grains have been put up to the machine. So, uh, Mr. Tulliver is a father of Maggie. He had a mill on the river banks of the name of the river called as Ploss. And he has two children. One is Tom, who is a big brother of uh, Maggie and Maggie herself. And Maggie is often scolded by her mother and uh, the other fellows. The reason behind it because her hairs are very untidy. Uh, the particular situation of the story is that a few of the children's aunts and uncles have just arrived to their house to have dinner at the mill itself. The mill was beside the banks of the river Floss. And very nearby, they had their house too. So this was the basic uh, uh, picture we get from the extract from the novel that is Mill on the Floss, the author, George Eliot. So let's go through the lesson now. So Maggie said Mr. Tuliva. Mr. Tuliva is a father of Maggie. Maggie is telling to her father, calling her to her side and whispering in her ear. Go and tidy your hair. I told you not to come in without doing it first. You know, I did. So Tulliver has suggested already Maggie to just get uh, tidy her hair and then to come down to see up and invite the guests of today's dinner. So, but Maggie had already cleaned up her hair, hairs but it was not at all seeming it was very tidy enough. But that shouted like, you know, I did it, but it was not at all tidy enough. So what did Maggie do? Let's see in the further. Tom came out with me, whispered Maggie. So Maggie, she is just calling out Tom, uh, that is her brother, to come out with her pulling her brother's sleeve as she passed him. So while going, she just pulled up brother's sleeve. Uh, she just made a sign to go with her. And Tom followed very silently and willingly. Come upstairs with me, Tom. She whispered. When they, what did they do? They just uh, went on uh, upstairs and uh, it was follow and Tom was uh, uh, going upstairs. Maggie was followed up by Tom. And later on, soon up, they just went on upstairs. And what did they do? Let's see. Tom followed willingly, come upstairs with me. Tom whispered. Tom, she whispered. When they were outside the door, 
there is something I want to do before dinner. So she said to Tom that she had to do something before dinner. What she had to do? So let's see. There is no time to play anything before dinner, said Tom. So Tom was very serious about this and he just warned Maggie that there is no time and uh, we don't have any other option to do something else. So what was that? So let's see in the further of the lesson. So uh, Tom had already warned Maggie that there is no time to do anything before dinner. Who was not interested, uh, was not interested now in anything but his dinner. He said, he said, yes, there is time for this. Do come, Tom. So she just told that, please don't worry. We are, we have a time for uh, the thing to be done. Please follow me up. So these are the words told by Maggie to Tom. So Tom followed Maggie upstairs into her mother's room. So they went to their mother's room and saw her go at once to a drawer. So she was going near a drawer, which she took out a large pair of scissors. So there was uh, the scissors. What did she do with the scissors? The scissors were carried away and the drawer was, she went near the drawer. And then what has happened later? So let's see in the further of the lesson. Oh yes, there is time for this. Do come, Tom. Tom followed Maggie upstairs into her mother's room and saw her go at once to a drawer from which she took out a large pair of scissors. So she has taken up a large pair of scissors and what would Maggie do with her hair? What are they for, Maggie? said Tom. Maggie answered by seizing her friend hair and cutting it straight across the middle of her forehead. So she started to cut off her hairs, which was, uh, 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 which was bad enough in the forehead. So what did Tom say for that? Tom said that, oh my buttons, oh my buttons are a kind of an expression which would be given uh, for a kind of a surprise or an excitement. Oh my buttons, Maggie, you will catch it said Tom, you had better not cut any more off. So she started to cut her hairs, uh, which was there in the middle of the forehead. And um, Tom was very much shocked and very surprised to see Maggie that she was cutting off and she was going on and on. And he already warned up uh, Maggie just to stop off cutting out. Why she wanted to get cut off her hairs? Because uh, she just want to uh, stop getting annoyed by the hairs. So she was very much uh, uh, angry and she was uh, very much uh, a kind of uh, humiliations was going out with Maggie. So that's the reason. So that's the reason she wanted to uh, just cut off her hairs and she don't want anything to be uh, there to which will be ruining her image. So she wanted to stop getting scolds from others and she want a kind of an appreciation which will be very much uh, happier for Maggie to be third. So let, I'll stop here and I'll continue. Hope everything, uh, everybody are enjoying uh, the lesson. So let's see up in the next video.